You know what's really useful about coming to the World Economic Forum is to realize just how big and complicated the world is. That there are some problems that are universal. There are problems that affect all of us. Right now, the issue of climate change, which has gone onto the back burner because of the COVID crisis, is very much being pushed back to the forefront once again. It's an issue that not only we in South Africa have to grapple with, but the rest of the planet as well. We're going into a food crisis around the world. And while we may be largely self-sufficient, efficient as South Africa, we are certainly going to see price pressure moving the cost of living upwards, as we are seeing in so many economies. But you know what? There's a whole bunch of stuff that is in our favor. For now, at least, inflation is in check, thanks to the superlative management of the Reserve Bank and monetary policy by the Reserve Bank under Lesetja Hanyaho. We've got a balance of payments that has been restored to a decent level. We've got a trade deficit which has been eradicated to a surplus, and we have got ourselves into a far better fiscal position, thanks very much to the fact that we've got higher tax collections than expected, as well as a commodities boom which has supported us. But none of this stuff is a permanent solution to South Africa's problems. And what you learn in a place like Davos is that every problem that has been created through all history has been created by people, but solutions have been found by people too. And what you come to together in Davos